Hi guys. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, guys. Welcome to today's video. Oh my God, boy, am I glad to sit down here again and talk to you guys. It has been at this point going to two months and I haven't done a proper sit down video and I have missed it let me tell you I have missed it I've been giving you guys vlogs back to back back to back the UK vlogs this one vlog like it's been vlogs at least my last eight nine videos I'm sure have been vlogs so I'm very very excited to sit down here and talk to you guys again you guys love my sit down videos okay now without further ado you guys know I hate for my sit down videos to be too long this video video is going to be a video I've seen a couple of other content creators you know all over the world doing some have done this in the past some as long as four or five years ago and I've had it in mind to actually do this video this video is going to be all the things I regret doing or regret not doing in fact what I regret the most about my 20s if you are watching me for the very first time my name is Alma and I am a 34 year old woman living in Abuja Nigeria with a husband and her daughter okay so my 20s are far behind me but there are certain things that I wish I did in my 20s and things I wish I did not do in my 20s and you know it was good for me to reflect on these things I actually felt some kind of way reflecting on my 20s what I did wrong and what I did right and all of that anyway let's get right into this video it's going to be fun I've been waiting all night. okay so the number one thing that I would say that see I regret I regret so much about not doing in my 20s is living alone yes I am one of those people I am one of those Nigerians Nigerian women one of those African women who who married from father's house yes I never lived alone except of course when I was in school you know as a boarding student in secondary school and maybe as a university student you know in the east back then in UNN but I never lived alone I never rented an apartment of my own lived alone and that's one thing that till today I feel like oh my god I wish I was able to do but the honest to god truth is that after NYSC I got a job and I was still living with my parents up until the day Jesse came to my father and asked on my hand in marriage okay so I was not one of those women to actually experience living alone and I've always lived with people you know family in this case now my husband and my daughter you know I've always lived with someone so I don't know what it's like to have my own place you know have my own space <laughs> do my own things I never experienced that and to be honest that is one thing that I envy my sister for my sister has been living in Lagos on her own for like for like over seven years at this point so she has a good experience of living on her own and that's one thing I wish I did or I wish I could have done to be honest I don't think I could afford it at the time I think looking back now I don't think even if I wanted to I could have actually afforded at the time to move out of my parents house and rent a place of my own at the time my job was <laughs> I was earning a mega salary so I couldn't have afforded to rent a place of my choice <laughs> at that stage in my life so yeah that's one thing I regret not doing in my 20s the next thing that I regret not doing in my 20s also I would kind of you know relate to finances is traveling more I feel like now I am beginning to travel more and now I'm beginning to see the world more I would have loved to travel a lot more in my 20s travel alone travel with friends even maybe with family but again that was not something that my pockets <laughs> could afford at the time I would have loved to travel a lot more like guys look here there is so much there is so much to see in this world and many of us have not scratched the surface of seeing this world and there are like God knows how many countries in this world over almost 200 countries in this world and me I've been to like what four or five at this point it'd be like four I don't even know Seb but yeah I really wish I traveled or rather I wish I could afford to travel a lot more in my 20s that's one thing that I definitely regret the next thing I would say I completely regret about my 20s is not letting go when I should have and that is in regards to different things to relationships to friendships to opportunities to ideas like name it I feel like there were certain times in my life especially in my 20s 
days where I held on to things longer than I should have. Maybe holding on to a relationship, hoping that things will get better, hoping that it will change, hoping that something will happen. You know, I think I can look back now and say, I probably was in one or two situationships where I think or I feel now I should have let go sooner, right? Holding on to things for too long, like things that obviously it has died completely. I was holding on to them a lot in my 20s, just hoping, just wondering if I would ever find anything better, right? So I feel like, yeah, that's one thing I definitely regret about my 20s. Holding on for dear life. Ah, will I find better? If I leave this person now, will I see somebody better? Oh, if I don't do this thing, will I see something better to do? Like, I held on to things for a long time, and that's one thing that I really, really wish, looking back now, I did not hold on to things for so long long. The next thing I would say I regret a lot about my 20s is not really recognizing what I wanted to do with my life early on, like earlier on, which I don't even blame myself because look, your 20s are for discovering yourself, okay? The, the society puts too much pressure on human beings that we believe that if you are in your 20s and you don't know what you want to do with your life, you are a West. But the thing is, Looking back now, I really wish I could recognize early or figure out early what I really wanted to do with my life and pursue them on time. Not to say that I don't have time anymore. I mean, I'm only 34. I'm still quite young. I still have the rest of my 30s ahead of me. I still have my 40s ahead of me. But I feel like, for instance, if I was able to recognize that I wanted to be a content creator at the time, even though looking back now, Content creation was not really anything that people were really dabbling into as much when I was in my 20s. However, if at the time when I used to watch Dima, CCME, back then in 2012, I was like 23 at the time, you know, that was still my early 20s. If I could figure out that, oh my God, this is something I definitely want to do, which I honestly had begun doing, you know, by blogging and all of that. But looking back now, if I had pushed myself a little bit more, maybe, just maybe, the story might have been just slightly different. But anyway, that's not, for me, that's not a very serious regret. But then again, it's something that when I think about it, looking back, it's like, maybe you, I should have just pushed myself more, pursued my dreams more, you know? Maybe I should have recognized earlier that nine to five was not what I wanted to do with my life. And I wouldn't have wasted four years doing it, you know? So, but then again, like I said before, it's not a serious regret. It's just one of those Itty bitty regrets. The next thing that I would say I regret about my 20s would be not following ideas through or more or less like procrastination, fear of the unknown. That happened to me a lot. Guys, I had a lot of ideas on things I wanted to do in my 20s. I remember wanting to dabble into event planning, which I actually did, but I feel like I gave up on that too early, too soon, you know? I wanted things to just come easy, like, ah, let me just do this thing once and it's just blow. Do you get i feel like that fear that procrastination of not following your ideas through to the last i wanted to like i was so good at event planning and some of you even told me from planning my brother's wedding that i would be good at event planning and it was once upon a time dream for me but I didn't follow it through guys i i just did not and not to say that it's too late to go into it but with everything else i have going on in my life that would just be like i don't know too extra because it is a lot <laughs> a lot of work so yeah that's just an example but i feel like ah if i had explored my ideas more if i had pushed myself more if i was not so scared of the unknown or scared that things would fail I would have achieved a lot more in my 20s. And then last but not least, I would say that one thing I regret about my 20s would be not using my time wisely. Yes, not using my time wisely. Like I said before, I said earlier that I spent four years doing a nine to five job. That job literally took over my life. I could not do much because from it, two five six i'm in the office i couldn't really do much with my time and it was a private company so this was not like a government job where you could still run your things on the side do you get i don't think i really used 
my time wisely. I could have done a couple of more courses, you know, just to like boost my educational qualification. Maybe just maybe I could have just dabbled into like some sort of business and be doing on the side. Like I feel like I didn't really use my time wisely. Once work was over and I got home, it was time to sleep. I honestly hardly even went out. I did a lot of resting when I was working a nine to five job. Like my weekends were for resting. I would rest and sleep and Monday, the routine resumes again. So looking back now, I wish I dedicated my time into doing other things. Maybe just maybe again, the story of Alma might be slightly different. But then looking back now, maybe that's just how it was supposed to be. You know, we beat ourselves up so much, regretting things and maybe just maybe those things that you did not do at a particular point in your life was only to make you this person today. Does that make any sense? <laughs> So yeah, that's basically it. Not a lot because to be honest, I am not that person to be filled with regrets, okay? I don't dwell on regrets, but this is just something that I actually reflected on last weekend and I'm just like, mm, this would be like a nice video to just come here and speak to you guys about. So that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Do you have similar regrets of any time in your life? It doesn't have to be your 20s. It could be your 30s. It could be your 40s. It could even be your teenage years, whatever it is. Um, leave your comments in the comment section below and let's discuss it. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and share this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. I'm trying my best, but I don't know how